Hi there, today I'm going to tie a small foam beetle. Uh, this is a fairly, fairly efficient and, and very, very cool pattern. It's not very, very difficult and we're going to use some grey foam and uh, some of these uh, truly awesome buck buddies. Uh, these are pre-cut out uh, buck buddies, buddies of, uh, that could be used for beetles and then they're very, very nice. Then we're going to use some rubber legs um, and uh, some dubbing and well a bit of uh, a bit of yellow foam and, and that's about it. It's a very efficient pattern that I've used successfully on both uh, on, on both uh, migratory uh, sea trouts uh, uh, both in rivers but also uh, but also in uh, in the fjords of, of Denmark. So so this fly can be equally efficient on uh, on the coastline as it, as it can be in streams. But it's uh, it's it's a good uh, it's a good provocation dry fly so so the way I'm fishing I fish this is I just cast it to a potential uh, potentially good looking uh, place in the stream and just let, let it take the water very high very very with, with a great impact and then the trout will come uh, and grab it um, and in Denmark we have these small streams where, where this type of fishing really really uh, works uh, works very well and it's nice to see big big sea run trout uh, come and come and grab flies like this so first of all I'm going to use a small bundle of, uh, of uh, gray dubbing uh, the brand of the dubbing uh, is not that important. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is the SLF um, squirrel dubbing, a very nice dubbing for for most other things. And if you if you tie uh, if you tie nymphs and stuff like that, you will have a dubbing similar to this in your stock already. Otherwise, uh, <laughs> you can buy it in my shop. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I've cut out uh, a piece of a uh, piece of grey uh, uh, fly foam. Just gonna attach this, and the reason why I made a small bundle of dubbing is is to uh, to uh, make sure that um, that uh, this uh, this foam has has a, a firm place to to rest on, so it, it won't tilt on the hook further on uh, when I when when I, when I'm done tying and stuff like that. So it just has something to to cling on to very tightly. Then I'm gonna apply the uh, the bug body, and I'm gonna attach this on top of the uh, the other foam. I'm going to do that so it's it's sticking out slightly uh, out over the eye like so taking a few turns before <laughs> I uh, tighten down clamp down and uh, well as you can see what happened was uh, the, th the, th the thread broke on me and um, that can happen from time to time with this foam but it's not uh, something that is happens too often. Uh, you can, if, if you want, you can change to a 0.6 thread or something like that and you will avoid these struggles of course, but uh, the size 14 Vivos is the one I'm using here and it, uh, it tends to do the job on, on, on most, uh, most of my flies uh, of this size. This is a size 6 hook and uh, I use the Gamakatsu uh, 314 um, F F314, uh, a very very nice hook. Uh, it's particularly nice for this uh, this pattern because it has a very large uh, it has a very large gape. So uh, despite the fact that you're gonna bundle on a lot of uh, a lot of floating stuff, a lot of uh, a lot of um, a lot of foam here, and this fly is gonna be fairly fairly high to look at as you can see then uh, then this hook will will do the job and will will hook the fish uh, uh, very very efficiently. It has a, a thin wire as well, so it's uh, it's kind of ideal for this because it doesn't weigh too much. So so a fly with this amount of foam um, and uh, and with a th thin wire for the hook uh, is is very good because uh, it will it will float forever, simply float forever. Um, so you can just cast and fish this upstream, downstream, whatever you like, and it will just stay on top of the surface uh, throughout an entire day of fishing. You'll never have to apply any. Uh, any uh, any kind of floating chemicals and stuff like that it will just stay up on top of the water throughout the day and uh, that's something I find <laughs> very very nice and <laughs> and I'm very partial to. Um, it's not the prettiest of dry flies I know that but it certainly is uh, is efficient. Um, I got a personal best this year um, as a matter of fact, not too too long ago, I got a personal best uh, uh, sea trout of uh, of seventy centimeters, which is approximately if you're looking uh, if if you're watching from uh, from US, approximately I think it was twenty eight 
28 inches, which is a fairly nice trout on <laughs> on a dry fly. <laughs> uh, at least it is for me. It's not uh, it's not a fish I'm, uh, I catch every day. <laughs> There's actually a video um, uh, uh, where where you can hear me scream <laughs> from uh, from catching uh, while while catching this because I'm I'm a, I'm a bit psyched about that. And uh, well, if you aren't psyched about fishing, then uh, then why bother doing it anyway? So I just uh, I tend to be uh, to be enthusiastic and, and happy about uh, <laughs> happy when when I go fishing. Which is not as often as I like, but uh, well, if I don't, if I didn't, if I if I went fishing two times a day, it probably won't wouldn't be uh, be as much as I liked. Oh, so now you can see I've just made a small a small uh, body. It's it's not going to be thick or anything. It's just going to it's just to support the form uh, of of the gray dubbing here. And then I'm going to tie down the the foam up here, making sure it's stays there. It's strong. It fits there and then I'm gonna do the same with the uh, the buck body here like that and as you can see it's gonna rest on top of one another the buck body is a bit thicker than the uh, than the than this the strand of uh, of the uh, gray foam I cut and well you can of course do that uh, exactly as you want it to mine just didn't fit c precisely and well <laughs> you can't win them all so I'm just gonna apply some thread here and, um, and then I'm gonna take my uh, my rubber legs. I like the yellow for for this pattern, for for this color combination. I use this in many many different combinations. I like one with uh, with orange legs and orange foam as well, and and one with with chartreuse foam and uh, and chartreuse legs. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this and and just loop it onto the thread here. Loop it onto the thread here, like so. And then I can just pull it exactly where I want it to be, like this. And I want mine to be around there, like so. Um, I don't want to have legs uh, down in the other end of the fly. You could do that if you wanted to, but well, I think this is uh, this is sufficient with the, with just these two legs. As you can see, they make a nice V here, um, and uh, they give a lot of life and stuff to uh, to the fly. So. The last thing I need to do is, is to apply a strike indicator or something for you to so it's easy to spot your fly in uh, in low light conditions and and for this use I'm going to take a small bundle of uh, of yellow foam it could have been orange foam or green foam or whatever but the yellow will fit for this color scheme so I'm just going to apply this right on top there so it's going to make a small V it's it's going to add a bit it's going to stick a bit out here like so and uh, making sure everything is nice and tight here and uh, the final thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small small bundle of uh, of dubbing just to make sure that my uh, my my rubber legs are sticking out in uh, in a, in, a, in an angle from from one another like that like so and I'm gonna do my whip finish in between the legs as well. That sounded a bit strange, but well, you, I guess you get my drift. <laughs> so do everything you can between the legs, you know? That's the, the, <laughs> the best way to do it. Like that. Oops, I, was all, I almost cut my, uh, cut my legs off. Just gonna make that a bit shorter. The front legs, I'm going to cut off the end here, so it's going to follow the black. And what you can do now, which is a good idea, is, is to just glue these two together. Glue these two together, and of course you can apply some uh, some super glue to the underside here to make sure that your foam stays in stays exactly in in place where you want it to be. Also, I'm gonna cut off the foam up here, like so. You can you can either do like that, or you can you can be a bit more uh, do a bit more precisely stuff and just make sure that it kind of almost follows the uh, the black foam like that. And uh, well, there you uh, there you have it. Uh, the small, well, not so small uh, rubber rubber beetle. Um, 
a fairly fairly good fly that works for about anything uh, any any kind of trout and it's not too easy it's going to float uh, throughout the entire day uh, and uh, and it really really hooks and uh, and fishes greatly and uh, and uh, of course please do this in in a number of different color combinations because this is just one of many that will uh, will do the trick well those were the words thank you for listening